Hey guys, welcome back to Yelena App. For today's video, we are going to show you Canva versus Photoshop, which is better. So, if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now, we'll be discussing the differences within this between these two platforms here. Now, Canva is a free platform, which in this case, you could basically edit photos as well as videos. Now, the great thing about Canva here is they actually have templates that you could use to create your designs, maybe postcards, videos, or even simple websites or static websites here. So they actually delve into different uh, categories or different designs here, but they are not that complex. So meaning you only have the basic tools here, but the great thing as well here is they actually utilize the AI for some of their designs and some of the capabilities that they can do. So if you're going to use the free plan here for Canva, you can just basically access the basic tools that I have. So in this case, I already have some project here. So you see within Canva, you have the option to add different elements, some text, you can add some shapes here. And graphics which in this case is going to be transparent so as you can see i could just basically drag them in here if i want to now you also have the option to upload your own photos in the upload section even draw if you want to uh, view the other projects i already have and some apps to add further integrations into the canva itself so in this case whenever you click some of the elements like for some of this image here you have the option to change color for certain uh, pngs or some of the elements here like for example we want to make it darker go ahead and choose that if you want to now in this case you also have the animation option here which in this case allows you to automate animate some of the text here so whenever you're making presentations canva here can be kind of helpful now, the thing here is Canva, again, only has simple tools. So if you want to use this for certain projects, personal projects, you can go ahead and use it. Now, this can also be used by designers because a lot of companies and even freelancers are using Canva here. So uh, in this case, if you really want to maximize the capabilities that you can do here in Canva, you need to basically get their premium plan. Now, in this case, some of the elements that I have here are going to be paid. So just to give an example, I'm going to open up graphics here. And whenever you see a section that has a crown on it, it means that specific graphic or a specific element is paid. So you need to pay for it in order for it to use it. As you can see right now, I have this video that has a pro plan. So you need to have the pro plan for you. Now, again, some of the tools they have in some apps that utilize this AI are locked a bit behind a paywall. So you need to get a plan for you to start using it. So in this case, for basic modifications and basic uses and uh, basic edits, or just simply to make your uh, presentations, uh, maybe cards or even videos, uh, Canva has the right tools for you and the basic tools that you could use to immediately create them. Now, the difference between Canva and Photoshop here is uh, um, going, it's going to be the capabilities that you do. Now, unlike Canva, uh, Photoshop here is mostly used by professionals within in within industry regarding uh, design or even in advertising. Now, in this case, they have complicated tools here. Like for example, we have the uh, tool for eyedropper tool, which in this case copies the color of a, a the photo that you have right now. Also have the spot healing brush tool here. We have the brush tool as well. The clone and stamp tool here. As you can see, they have more complex uh, capabilities here, but in this case, uh, it's kind of uh, hard at first. So in this case, if you are going to compare this on Canva, Canva is a lot easier to use. You can immediately use it, drag and drop a few things, change a few things, resize and whatnot. But with Photoshop, you might need to get a crash course for you in order for you to start using. Because in this case, they have layers, uh, different uh, settings here like the canvases here and uh, certain values that you might need to adjust so there's a whole courses out there that you could use for you to start using uh, Photoshop here so uh, comparing them Canva is more on the easier side relying mostly on templates while Photoshop here relies solely on your skills that are on the editing so in this case on uh, your knowledge on how to use the tools so in this case, uh, you have more vers versatility in, in using Photoshop here because, again, they have more complex tools in certain cases that would actually be more helpful. Now, in this case, Photoshop is also a paid platform, but unlike Canva, it does not have an actual 
or it does not have a free plan. So it is a paid uh, uh, software. So in this case, the main difference here is Canva has a uh, free plan and also has a paid plan here. And also it relies mostly on uh, templates and some uh, pre-built in design. Now, well, Photoshop is a paid app for professionals and actually focuses on the versatility of the tools they have and complex tools to edit photos and basically do a lot more within the platform itself. And it's also paid, so that's uh, what's going to happen. But yeah, so in this case, those are the main differences between the two platforms or apps, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Elan App. Thank you for watching.